G'day everyone, or welcome back. Or well, today I've come to Catherine Hill Bay, which is about an hour or so north from where I usually paint. So I've come here today with my mate Michael and another mate that I'm going to introduce. But uh, Michael ended up painting up there in the shelter because uh, in the full sun it was a, a bit hard for him today and to carry all his gear in it down. So he's, he's up there painting up there. But anyway, yeah, I've come down here to Catherine Hill Bay and uh, check out this beautiful view. So there's a long jetty here, beautiful long jetty. And I'm gonna have a go at painting into the light here at this beautiful spot. So yeah, let's meet our guest. So yeah, today's guest is Hit Air. G'day Hit Air. G'day. <laughs> Hit Air has come to paint. He's gonna paint acrylic and he, he's already already started. And uh, yeah, so our first time painting together, hey? Yeah. yeah. Morning. Yes. Beautiful morning, we're gonna have a great day. So Hida, Hida and I are gonna paint this, this view here. So let's get painting. So yeah, people uh, often ask me what do I take when I go painting. So I'll just give you guys a little rundown what's in the bag and, and what I paint. So what I do is I've got a bag and what I take is I take me brushes. So I take a selection of brushes. I normally use uh, hog bristle, flat brushes from sizes like 8 to 12, just cheap brushes, I don't mind using them. And I carry a palette knife, so that's pretty much all I take for painting. I use pure gum turpentine as my medium to thin my paint. Always take sunblock and aerogard, those kind of things. Uh, I've got a poche box that I use here. Uh, the poche box, I, I normally just use that to place my palette in, but I've got the French French box there as well that I use and um, I'm using the aluminium composite boards and uh, pretty much paper towel and uh, just my camera gear not much and a furnace of coffee and a, and a tripod so yeah that's pretty much all I use to uh, when I go painting what, what I take pretty simple just pop it all in the bag here carry my French box and off I go and I've got my oil paints in that bag there, just a selection of oil paints that I use. And a, a couple of wet wipes and that, and that's pretty much what I use to paint. So yeah, I'm gonna have a go. I'll tell you what, it's about, it's gonna be about 32 degrees uh, Celsius today, so a bit warm. Hurts your eyes looking into the light, but I'm gonna have a crack at this view out here. I'm gonna just have the the light into the light and the jetty going out i don't know if i'll put the whole jetty in or just the middle so we'll, we'll have a look aiming for is I really want to get the light in this so I'm not going to go too blue with the sky only at the top at the furthest spot away from the Sun it's looking good beautiful so loose just working on the sky trying to get that light into it Just mixing the headland colour. I used ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, a bit of burnt sienna. Gives that real grey. I mixed that, that into the water wash that I mixed earlier with sapphire and cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, titanium white, and a little bit of burnt sienna and yellow ochre. About five colours. Anyway, I'm getting that grey colour for the headland. When you look out there, you see the greens, but then you see that grey colour. It gives that distance.
He there paints super quick like me. <laughs> Too quick. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Hope you guys can see that. Look at that. It's really coming together. It's got so much atmosphere. It's looking great. Beautiful, mate. Yeah, Going good. Really good scene. Yeah, it's a great scene, ain't it? Just hurts your eyes. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. You yeah, enjoy. That's it. Pain is heaven here, folks. Pain is heaven. captured the light so good in that at the end folks we'll have a good look at the paintings but in the moment we're working into the light so it's a bit hard to show you guys exactly what's going on but at the end you'll see the results We, uh, we ran around the corner here because the tide's coming in. We didn't want to get wet. But anyway, I'll give you an update. Let's have a look at Hideo's painting. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow, you really caught the light in that, Hideo. Beautiful, mate. You've done well. Thanks for coming along, Hideo. <laughs> and then I, um, I've got a little bit to go. i just got to work on me rocks in that area, so it won't be long. Nearly done, just some finishing touches here. It's a bit hard painting the subject when it's about 50 metres behind you now, but that's just the way it is. So, you know, you can't, uh, sometimes you can't, can't change that. Just getting some whitewashing now. G'day mate. I'm going to break this up a little bit, put a bit of, bit of water and a bit of waves coming into it. Uh, sorry, whitewash. Otherwise it looks too, too much, uh, catches your eye. There you go, break it up a little bit.
Thanks, Hit Air, for coming along. See you in the next adventure. Yes, thank you. See you, mate. Thank you, Cheers. Cheers. For coming along. Thanks for coming along, everyone. I'll just show you my painting. Okay, so there you go. I'm I'm happy with it. I could have done a bit more uh, work with it. Um, I'm just getting low on titanium white, so I think I'll leave it at that. Maybe when it dries, I can add, add a bit to it. But um, yeah, caught the uh, jetty here at Catherine Hill Bay, and uh, I think I've got the atmosphere in it. Really happy with what hit air painted as well, and um, yeah, we had a great time. So. Thanks for coming along. Catch you in the next one. See ya.